Before there was a place that was called Philadelphia, there was the land of the Lenape. The creator had given it to us to hold and care for. Today, the Philadelphia region is home to six million people from all over the globe. But until a few hundred years ago, the land was home to one tribe. For generations, we have called them Delawares or Lenape, but they call themselves Lenny Lenape. My name is Chito Makalaniak. That means quiet hawk. I didn't know I was Lenape. I just knew I was in there. Didn't know anything about my history because everybody was afraid to talk about it. The Lenape are the original people of this land. Archaeological evidence has proven that they've been here for 13,000 years. When the ancient ones arrived here, one of the things that caused their journey to end was this was the edge of the continent. This was where the sun rose. Their world spans across the modern-day mid-Atlantic region, Delaware, New York, New Jersey, and Pennsylvania. The Lenape refer to it as Lenape Hoking. At the center is the river, the pulsing Lenape Wichituck. The river was the lifeblood of the land. It's sacred to our people, and we traversed up and down the river in dugout canoes. The Lenape Wichituck was the source of a lot of food. It was a source of communication. It was a way that communities could travel to be with one another along the riverside. The Lenapes put value on freedom, and that extended throughout the structure of their society. Not every Native American believed that. The Lenapes did. In our society, the women were the ones to make the important decisions. They were the ones to appoint the chiefs. Women were the holders of all property. It was really important to them to maintain a balance. And they were very much aware of balance in all of nature. When a woman got tired of her man, if he wasn't providing in the way that she thought he should, she put his stuff outside of their home, and that was it. The Lenape women exercised power because they also controlled, to a large extent, the land. 